First of all, I think it's a great day for particle physics. It's a great day for theory and experiment together because both go very, they need to go together and it culminates in the Nobel Prize today for Francois Anglais and Peter Higgs and I think they deserve a big applause, please. <laughs> Now comes the harder part. <laughs> it's your work which has also allowed the Academy to give this prize. And I think now you should, should give some applause also to you guys. Okay. <laughs> Okay, I don't want to make much more words. I think it was a fantastic three years which we had here after this long struggle of, of working and designing, uh, getting first the approval and then designing and building the experiment and now running and the accelerators, everything. And of course now also to have to see that it has been awarded by, by, the, by the Academy to our theorist friends after this long and hard work, I think is a big relief and is a, as I say, it's a great day for particle physics and I think we can build on that. We should all be proud of this achievement. Um, I'm proud of you guys, I'm proud of the theorists, I'm proud of particle physics and I think we can all be proud of that. You want more words? I don't think that's not needed. I don't think it's needed. I think it's just a great day. And, of course, we are looking forward to the first data after the shutdown. Eh? <laughs> eh? So, I think we should all stay tuned, but for the moment, we should just enjoy today and the result of the committee. Thank you, and have a nice afternoon, and back to work at least tomorrow. <laughs> okay.
too deep, eh? but I mean, to a certain level. Yeah. I'm a bit pragmatic, I mean, with respect. And we conclude by saying that we have observed a new, new boson with a mass of 125.3 plus or minus 0.6 GV at 4.9 standard deviations. Thank you. Zooming in this region. I'd like to add my congratulations to everybody involved in this tremendous achievement. Uh, for me, it's really an incredible thing that it's happened in my lifetime. It's taken... <laughs> it's taken <laughs> it's we have a discovery. We should state it. We have a discovery. We have observed a new particle consistent with a Higgs boson. The the story begins uh, with the work of um, uh, Nambu and Goldstone in 1960. I, I uh, asked myself, well, what would happen if we combined the Maxwell type of, of field theory with some of these models which involved spontaneous symmetry breaking? So I simply put together uh, a model the theory, a very simple one, proposed by Goldstone in 1960, and uh, I, I married it to Ma Maxwell electrodynamics. Uh, so then I, I wrote a short paper about that, and I, I sent it off to Physics Letters, uh, whose editor was at CERN, and they rejected it. And uh, at that point, I thought maybe maybe the paper was too short, and I hadn't said enough. The paper the paper was about one side of A4, uh, so I, I thought I'd better look at what were physical, more physical consequences of this kind of theory. And I pointed out in an, a revised version that there would always, in this cut kind of theory, be some uh, le leftover spin zero particles which did have mass and these these are what uh, became known as Higgs bosons. Of course I'm very happy uh, of that. The result now is really extremely impressive and I am full of admiration of what CERN has realized. It certainly is important because it confirms essentially most of what has been done in physics, at least the physics which is not speculative and trying to understand things which for the moment we cannot verify, but for most of the physics which is, uh, has been verified, uh, this is extremely important because it really is the 
stone that shows that everything is in place. Our way is a quantum mechanical way to formulate the theory. Professor Higgs uh, uh, did it in a classical way, and I think, in a sense, these two works are very complementary.